This is Miss Butterworth, and she has a hidden secret right inside this bag. Did she push her grandmother down some stairs for gas money, or did she sell a dead dog to a blind kid for some weed? Or does she drink mouthwash because she's too broke to buy alcohol? Find out on Baby.
Um, I want to shave my mom's hair eyebrows uh, while she was sleeping. Is it on Um, I was trying to be funny, and uh, I thought it'd be, I thought it'd give me a lot of likes on Instagrams and Facebook, and um, we got to send you packing. She just can't handle your baggage. Oh. Take your bags and leave, sir. When I go on dates, I act like I have to use the restroom so I can ditch the girl in order not to pay for the bill. You know what I'm saying? Contestant number two, Twinkie, reveal your badge. I once fed a group of kids dog food and said it was chili. It looked like chili. I wasn't wearing my glasses, I'm sorry. Twinkie? I didn't know Ed was allergic to puppy chow. Twinkie, I just can't deal with your baggage. Twinkie, pack your baggage and leave. Ah, ooh. You know what? No free DVDs for any one of you. And Black Widow was coming out this summer, and I had all of you. <laughs> <laughs> so we have one contestant left. That is about to reveal their last baggage. Will Miss Butterworth take the baggage or throw it away? You shall find out after our commercial break. Baby, 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 
mama trippin' Child supports that gotta pay the bill Garnish all my checks, they damn near be taking all of it Blessing to myself, never do this to self again Never will I treat a trick, never will I save a bill Just picked up my check, unexpected garnishments Literally 55% and the state takes all of it Condoms, invest, or deal with child support Okay, hey everybody, welcome back to So we are with our final contestant here who has their final badge. So before we get started with that, Mr. Tyrone, how do you feel about going on a date with Mrs. Butterworth here with the baggage she is carrying? Uh, I feel a little positive about going on a date with this lady here. She's beautiful. And uh, we can drink mouthwash together. I like the dream. Okay, Mrs. Butterworth, how do you feel about going on a date with Mr. Tyrone here with the baggage he is carrying? Uh, I would like to get to know Tyrone. I mean, he's not a bad guy, you know, but some things can be worked out. Okay, okay. Hey, assistant, baggage, please. Okay, now, Mr. Tyrell, reveal your final badge. I can't wear condoms because my D's too small. <gasps> Mrs. Butterworth, reveal your badge. I once sold a dead dog to a blind kid for weed money. <gasps> Mrs. Butterworth, are you able to deal with Mr. Tyrone's badge? Tyrone, you have a lot of badge, but unfortunately, I can deal with your badge. Can you deal with Mrs. Butterworth's baby? Mrs. Butterworth, I'm trying to grab a hold of why you would do a blind kid like that. And um, I hate to say this, but yeah, we can hang out. Maybe she sold that for a good bag of laugh. And I don't have to smoke Reggie no more, faking the funk on Facebook and Instagram. I, I will take a ride with this lady and we can get to know each other. Okay, now they have accepted to. Now that they have chosen to go on a date together, they have won all expenses paid at the local grocery store. Congratulations, Tyrone. Tyrone, this is better. Oh, the dreams on, man, it ain't no good. Chucky is a hundred toy, they got your kids paranoid. He just scares Lord, dad, a child, cannibal. Taste the taste of white kids all through the fucking wood. Freddy Cougar, I'm going do that. If you like this segment, press like and subscribe. Eventually, it doesn't matter. I'll say it, Chris. <laughs> <laughs>